the first birds are, are just starting to, about one yard out. Keep down. Yeah, yeah. Just stay down. Everybody stay down. The bird just moved back to about uh, 20 yards or so from the catch area. Larry, okay. some just come very close now. They're moving in. Okay, the net's in. Three, two, one, fire. Got the lock. Push, push, push. Then pull the projectile from behind you. Pull the projectile from behind you. box. Absolutely bomb. We study the red knots because they're a vulnerable species. Their populations have declined dramatically in only 30 years. Is this a knot box? The numbers that used to go through Delaware Bay were over 100,000. And now there's maybe 15,000 to 20,000 going through Delaware Bay. And some people say it's even less than that. Red knots stop in Delaware Bay because it is the largest concentration of breeding horseshoe crabs on the East Coast. With every high tide, the horseshoe crabs come in and breed, lay eggs, and those eggs become available. Whenever the populations of any species decline dramatically, it indicates that there's some problem with the ecosystem. It's our task, really, to figure out why have they declined? In what place are they facing most threats? And what are those threats? This is new. The capture was at 1630. Larry is the bander. So the red knot, although it's a bird that many people have never heard of before, it's an indicator of the health of the ecosystem. They might tell us something about whether the chronic oil that's in the water is causing a problem. They might tell us something about whether the food supply is okay. And ultimately, they tell us whether we need to be worried about the environment that we live in, because we're part of that environment. But that's light. That's going to put a lot of weight on it. Well, yeah, it's almost got to double. Oh, yeah. That bird has to almost week. double before yeah. it's going to leave. Absolutely. Now, we've got to find out where that geolocator yeah. is. By putting those geolocators on the red knots, we are able to get a record of every place that bird has been in the year since we saw it last. We tagged the bird in Delaware Bay, which is right here. And from here, the bird went up to the Arctic, looked around for a place to breed. That's why it's not only in one place. And then it came back, went around a storm, all the way down to Cerro del Fuego, stopping only once. And then on its way back, it stopped once here and a couple times here to get back to Delaware Bay, where we recaught it. If there was not enough food in Delaware Bay, in all likelihood, the birds would not gain enough weight to be able to successfully reach the Arctic. So they may either perish because they starve, or they may not be able to breed that year. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is considering to move it to a endangered status.